Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. Today I'm really excited because if you remember uh, just a couple of months ago, I kind of redid my living room a little bit and brightened it all up and did some painting and uh, moving things around and now I have this piano bench that doesn't match. My mom and dad bought me this piano years and years ago and it's one of my favorite things but this black pleather top here just doesn't cut it anymore so today we're gonna make it match fabric online and when I do that usually you get two yards and so I really didn't need very much at all so I just measured and I made sure I gave an allowance of a few inches all the way around this top part here and, and so I just I really did a very rough measurement I did I did not do anything too fancy and then I just cut off the rough edges on both sides of my fabric here and this is the piece that I have and so now we're going to get started so I'm not even going to empty the contents here because I don't have to worry about this part but I am going to unscrew these top screws here right on the top and I'm going to take the top into my kitchen table. I like to start by giving this a good ironing. Okay, so I have laid out my fabric, obviously upside down here, and I put my bench cushiony part here also upside down. So what I want to do now is I have here just some uh, like fabric glue um, and I also have my big staple gun and uh, because this is a hard wooden top or, or bottom actually so I'm thinking the staple gun will work pretty well so what I want to do here in the corners and all the way around I'm going to do the corners first but I want to turn my fabric inside out here or fold it down here so that when I come up and I want to go ahead and glue this and staple it at the same time but that way I want to have nice pretty smooth edges so that we don't get any frayed ugly edges like just just stapling it around you'll see so see here I'm folding this fabric down and I'm going to put some glue under there and I'm just going to staple this through here Here, I also know I have two screw holes, and so I'm going to turn that down just about like that so that my screw holes are still exposed. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to do it almost like a Christmas present. I'm just going to kind of hold this in place and pull this up like so. Like this. But I also want to turn this down 
and if possible far enough so that my little holes for my screws here are still visible so I want to go about this far so I'm actually gonna put a little glue this time down through here so that when I fold this it'll stick a little bit We're going to fold this down. And as long as it's wet, if you don't get it exactly right, you still can move it a little. Now this end, we don't have any holes to hide, but we still want to turn this down. Still in the fashion, as if we were wrapping a present. Now we're going to come back and tuck these in a little bit tighter in just a second. Oops, went right over it. If you'll tuck these in really well, really good. Pull it really good and tight. Then we will put one right there. Down about like so. We have no holes to hide over here. Or to, no holes to protect. Just like to make sure it looks a little bit even. want to make these corners a little more snug. If you go over top of another staple, it often doesn't hold as well. Okay, there we go. We only have these screw holes here that we want to watch for and that's not going to be an issue. So, we have it all done. Ready to take a look? Drum roll. Ah! Ta da! Not too hard, was it? The hardest part now? We'll be screwing in those screws. Let's go get them.
And here you have it. So maybe we should put it to use real quick. How about it?
the goodness of God. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. See you next week.